Don't try this at home, please. <clears throat> don't do all that. Just don't do it. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying home. I'm wrenching in the backyard, and yeah, this video is about the fuel system today on the Firebird, I'm working on that today. I wanna to show you guys the fuel system, or I should say the fuel lines and hoses that I'm gonna be using on this build. Um, nothing crazy, so it's nothing like a super high horsepower build, so we're not too worried about going with like uh, AN fittings and all that. Well, I should say AN fittings, but more like uh, PTFE hoses and and steel braided hoses and things like that because if we're not running e85 or we're not running five six hundred horsepower um i don't use that i don't use that i don't know what you guys heard i don't know what you guys like to use if you guys like to use that stuff cool by all means but it does get expensive it gets pricey because you have to have the fittings to go along with it and all the above so it does get expensive but i want to show you guys what's a good kit a kit that i use on a lot of my bills a lot of my cars like i said anything under 500 horsepower um you know it, this stuff this is actually this might even work for 600 who knows but i like to use it um if you guys like it hit the comments or hit put a comment down below hit the like button and hit the subscribe button most important and guess what yeah your boy look he got a fade he finally got a cut Woo! boy i was out there with the fro and everything but let me show you the package i bought and uh for this build it's from cpp let me show you guys i've had a lot of success with this kit it's literally comes with everything that you're gonna need for your ls swap fuel needs look check it out that is the part number there if you guys are interested in the part number that's the one there let me open it up for you guys real quick and see what's inside everyone so you guys saw what i opened up out of the box here from cpp um like i said it's a pretty complete kit i like to use this kit a lot on the swaps um they give you all the hose you're going to need um to run your lines to run your um your feed line and return line so this is the corvette style um filter that you're going to use as well um obviously one with the feed one to return and then the, obviously the main feed from the tank um, you got that and then they give you it's pretty nice they give you all look all the nice fittings here that you're going to use along with all the adapters for the fuel rail even and for the tank side so i think it's pretty nice it's pretty complete i want to say this kit's about 150 bucks give or take depending on where you get it from whether it's ebay or um i want to say summit might even have it um or cpp direct i like to get it from ebay just because they seem to be cool quickly ship it faster i guess i don't know maybe it's because uh you can leave you know positive and negative feedback so that might help out so check it out um we're gonna go ahead and um probably run this i'm gonna drop the tank first real quick and then we'll start running this line up to the front and then kind of prep the filter as well for the tank we don't have the tank yet but we are should be getting here soon from tank sink so let's get started I saw we got the tank down uh, we're losing daylight it sucks i know um but it was hot earlier i was working on the front of the car today and it was super hot um i'm gonna go ahead and actually try to loosen this up here i should say i already got it pretty much loose um the feed line that runs up to the front of the car this is it here 
I don't like to leave this one in. I'm just gonna take it completely out of the equation, completely remove it, remove it off the car for him. I got everything loose already. So I just gotta pull it out. I'm gonna start from that, probably from back there and then try to get over this hump right here. So it'll, it should be already loose. Like I said, I've already did a lot of the work to get it off. So let me take this off real quick and then we'll probably continue this video in the morning to get the rest of the lines hooked up and plumbed. And, uh, but stay tuned guys, it's all gonna be in the same video. Alright guys, so it's super important when uh, placing your filter slash return. Um, I always kind of like to look for a spot where you can access it. If you got to change it out, you got to get to a fuel line, whatever the case might be. Like I said, I'm all about actually stuff working like it should, like from the factory. Like if somebody from the factory was doing this, you want to be able to service it. You know what I mean? Get to it and all the above. This is a good spot for this car, I think. And then I like to, like I said here, I utilize the same bolt that's holding on this brake line. So we don't have to go out of our way to drill a new hole. So right here we'll run a return and then feed. And then the, the actual feed inlet to the intake on front. So all we gotta do is run two lines back this way towards the gas tank and then one line back towards the fuel rail. So, uh, let me see if I can kind of start that process and see what we can do here. We just kind of have to measure and then cut the hose and so on. So I'll probably start with just the front one. And then I always like to leave a little bit of uh, excess front or back. So that way you can um, kind of manage it, tuck it away, whatever you got to do. So leave a little bit of slack. I got kind of late the other night. You know, we were out here running these fuel lines. Um, so I went ahead and finished up this morning without y'all so let me take you a little quick little walk through here now this guy here also ran along with it this is actually a little made up harness i made up for the actual fuel pump and sending unit i ran that it's a brand new one it'll run all the way back to the back of the tank um we're still waiting on that damn tank i don't know what the hell's going on man this this coronavirus shite it's got everything delayed like I don't know what it is with shipping but these wires that's basically the three wires that are coming out of that wire loom this is just the end of it and those will go inside my cab once I lower the car but you got your fuel um, coming from the pump up top to the actual rail so we follow it down that way so what I try to do if you guys notice I try to reuse a lot of those bolts that were the old rail was at in line with the uh, the new setup you guys can see how I ran it. Just had to get my own clamps, uh, drill them out too. A lot of those clamps don't ever come the size you need. So we got them all the way around up there, tucked up nice, tucked up away from the exhaust. Always be weary with the exhaust in the way. So you see what we did there, up and over, nice and tight, up high, out of the way. That thing will never hit. I haven't put an extra um, zip tie up there. Those will never come down. And then we got a nice and prepped right here. Just waiting on our uh, fuel tank. Look, that's where the fuel tank's supposed to go. And it's not there. I don't know what the hell's going on. But that's basically the CPP kit. Ran all the way down. It's a pretty nice kit, guys. Like I said, it comes with all the fittings you're going to need. Let me take you up to the fuel rail so you can see the one that it comes with there. All right, so here we up at the top half of the motor. I should say the, the the motor at the front half of the car. Now, this is where that line that we ran, that this is where it comes up right here. And I've already put our fitting here. Uh, this is what, 45 degree angle. And then we put our connector on the actual fuel rail. It comes with the kit as well, guys. So don't be afraid to use everything that comes with the kit. Like I said, they provide everything. We still have the fittings for the gas tank. We still got to put on, but we got to wait on the gas tank. That freaking gas tank is holding this whole project up. But 
fuel is ran, at least we got all our new lines and everything for him. So that way you don't have to worry about that. Guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching and staying tuned. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. Hit the subscribe button. We got to get these subscribers up before we want to get some free stuff, right? So tell your boys about it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell for notifications. And keep wrenching.